What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And Tyler. And this 562 Classic video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Currently open for takeout orders, so get on down to 2nd Street and get something from Naples Rib Co. This classic look back at Wilson CIF Championship brought to you as part of the 562.org's partnership with the Long Beach Post at lbpost.com. Going all the way back to February 26th, 2018. It was a huge day for the 562.org, actually. And it was a huge day for Wilson Girls Water polo cif title game against harvard westlake they were the underdogs Polly had actually played earlier in the day so it was like long beach took its girls water polo world down to willet aquatic center in irvine wilson coming in as the underdogs and first year coach barry o'day trying to make some history it was Barry O'Day's first championship, Wilson's first championship, and our first day is the 562.org as Ava Bishop finds Brooke Grenison to get Wilson off to an auspicious start. Then Megan Simon down to Grenison. She's going to make it 2 nothing. Wilson. Simon and Delaney Whelan are all city athletes of the year this year in 2020 as the future was on display in this one. The Wolverines would score, but it was so hard to get past Cameron Kruger this season. The Wilson goalie tragically lost her mom months before the season started and said it felt like she was playing with an angel on her shoulder all year long, especially today in the championship. Ended up with 10 saves in the game. Uh, I still get emotional thinking about Cameron Kruger and the story of those playoffs. Uh, Harvard Westlake would tie it up 2-2, and it was at this point we realized we had a real classic on our hands, uh, even in the moment. I think you always can feel it with water polo early on when you get a tight game like this. Delaney Whelan for Wilson's going to put the Bruins up 3-2, and it just had that feel that it was going to be a crazy one. Gotta say, great passing in this game. Is Harvard Westlake going to move it around, get it in to tie things up at 3-all? Low-scoring game, but it was very competitive back and forth. The lob shot from the Wolverines put them up 4-3 at half and then Grenison, who ended up going to UCLA, completing the hat trick early in the third quarter to tie it up. Such a great Wilson crowd on hand and they were loud in the second half. There were a lot of Long Beach folks uh, down in Irvine, Grenison doing it all. She had the steal here. That's going to go down and set up the goal of the game as freshman Ava Bishop Ooh. with the backhand down the line winner look back at it that's unbelievable i mean we got to take another look at it because she doesn't have eyes on the goal at all that is completely blind and in the top shelf where mom keeps the thin mints bruins defense locking down in front of cougar always playing harder defense so you know your goalie is balling out they were aggressive but still smart and then kruger Defensive play of the game, a save on the penalty. And at that point, the crowd starts really feeling like this might be the historic moment for the Bruins. Harvard Westlake throwing everything they could at Wilson in the fourth quarter. That's going to tie things up again at four all as Harvard Westlake is finally able to break through here against Kruger and the Bruins. 42 seconds left, and here comes Wilson with a chance to win this thing. It's going to be Bishop to Simon, and she's literally going to move the goalkeeper out of her way with her offhand for the game winner. Look at the crowd. Honestly, I think that's the best crowd reaction to a game winner we've ever seen. It was a really special moment. Wilson has such a proud aquatic history, but they've never won a CIF Girls Water Polo Championship, and right there... They officially do. O'Day says, oh yeah, the crowd is going absolutely nuts. And here comes our favorite celebration in all of sports, which is uh, when you get to see everyone roaring in the stands, Long Beach taking over the Woollett Aquatic Center for a couple hours. JJ mentioned it. Polly had played earlier, so you had a ton of Long Beach people. And then, as the final buzzer goes... Here it comes. Everyone gets wet. Winner, winner, everybody in the pool dinner. The first title in program history. And yeah, O'Day's going in. Socks on, by the way. That is a bold move. Socks are the reverse jinx when you're a water polo coach because you really don't want to get them wet. And so it shows you, hey, I'm not overly planning on being in the pool at the end of this game. You can see it here in these post-game clips. This team, a true family, and they played like it all year, especially in crunch time. They never felt like the, the moment was too big for them with Kruger's mom's initials on the back of all of their suits. What an emotional championship season. Well, and what a great uh, chance for the 562 to launch the coverage with uh, covering a championship like this and to have the opportunity to be around to capture these moments so that they live on in, in these videos rather than just in our memories. And so we would love to have the chance to continue to cover these type of events and bring you these type of stories into the years ahead.
It wasn't that long ago, but it's certainly an instant classic. That Wilson girls water polo team making aquatic history at a place where it's really tough to make aquatic history. They, they knew about it, and then they lived up to it. I, I hope that we do that too at the 562.org and live up to Long Beach sports and the greatness that surrounds us every day. We want to still be surrounded by it, so please let us know what you want to see as the next 562 Classic video as part of our partnership with the Long Beach Post.